now. Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Birmingham City versus West Bromwich Champion, the West Midlands Derby, which is being played uh, this Friday uh, at 10th of February at 8 o'clock p.m. kickoff, which is on Sky Sports. And the Luca AF, Luca from Luca AFC is going to do the preview. I'm going to get his thoughts, ask him what Blues need to do to get something from this game. And also, who he thinks the key players for Blues are and for West Brom. Yes, as always, start off with the opposition. Uh, so let's look at West Brom's current form. They've come of the last five games. They've won four of the last five games, picking up 12 points in from the process. The only defeat was away to Burnley. And their key players for this game, I'd say, are Thomas Brandon DeSante. He's got seven goals. And they've got Caelan Grant, but he don't really get in the team as much now. But I'd still say he's a key player based on his statistics. He's got five goals for them. and Or five assists, or something like that. Five assists, I think. And also, they got, obviously, uh, John Swift. He's got four goals, seven assists. And Jed Wallace, he's got four assists. Four goals, six assists. And, uh, yeah, so... And, obviously, West Brom have got Carlos Cove right now. And they had Steve Bruce as manager. He weren't... Bruce weren't getting a tune out of him, but... Carlos Coban's come in, he's changed it. I watched their game against Sheffield United a few months ago. They looked a bit disjointed, but he's come in, changed it. They have a well-coached, well-drilled side team now. And obviously, Carlos Coban, he was very... When Red Blues played them last season at home to Huddersfield, it was when Coban was their man manager. He obviously had them very good defensively and very good on the attack. And he's obviously managed to change West Brom's fortunes around very quickly. He's done really well. And they're currently sixth in the league with 44 points. Now let's come on to Blues then. So, obviously for this game, I'd say our key players, probably it's not hard to say because not everyone's in form, but maybe Hogan could be classed as a key player. I think he's got the most goals for us. And also, Blues come into this game. They had lost five games on the bounce, but they ended that last week with a, a good away win at Swansea, 4-3. That was a good win. That was, can we build momentum? Can we go on and back it up? It will be a tough game against the team who we've beaten the last two times. But yeah, we'll wait and see if we can. Hopefully we can. But to get us further away from the relegation zone. Now I'm going to go on by predicted lineup. I think Blue should go with. I'm going to go with a 5 3 2 formation. I'm going to go with Friend. Uh, as the No, sorry. I'm going to go with Sanderson, uh, Trusty and Long as the defenders. Longello and Colant as the wing-backs. And in midfield, I'm going to go with Hannibal, and Bakuna, or Gardner and Bielik, they didn't really produce anything for us last week. Gardner's not fit enough to replay it, so I'll go with Hannibal and Bakuna. And Chong in midfield, and the two up front, Duke and Hogan. Yeah, that's my predicted lineup. Now I'm going to bring you in, Luca. What do you think Blues have got to do to get, what have they got to do to get something out of, the West, out of this game against West Brom? For me, look, Birmingham City, I've seen you on a couple of times this season. I've been to your ground four times. Um, and for me, um, in my opinion, it's not the greatest ground in my opinion, but 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 Birmingham City, you just need you just need to build confidence. Like I was quite surprised that I watched your highlights last week against Swansea, um, and you've done well. Like you're not on greatest form. You've lost what like five games in a row, and then you come into the Swansea game that you've dramatically you went one 0 up, and then yeah. Swansea immediately reacted and went two one up. Yeah. And then suddenly you came back and scored four goals. Yeah. And, and I know you had a disappointing in the week that you lost in the FA Cup. It would have been nice to get to the fifth round of the FA Cup. But fortunately, everybody would love to get to the next round and win the FA Cup. But it doesn't work out like that. Look, it's going to be a tough game. West Brom got a new manager. Um, personally, I don't watch the championship that much. But I've heard that West Brom are, are in fifth place. Look, West Brom are... Uh, Pick on great form. They've got tough games coming up. They've got the likes of Blackburn and Watford to play. Look, Watford are not on good form. They're, they're just having a poor season. Um, but I think I think West Brom are going to win this game. I really do. because. But you never know with Birmingham. Birmingham, one of those teams where they can just go out of the blue and just pull a result. But score prediction, I'm going to go for West Brom to win 2-1 in this game. I'm sorry to... <laughs> I would love to back you guys, but but I think West Brom are going to win. I think they've got a new manager on the bounce. They're, they're flying at the moment. They're, they're fifth in the playoffs. And you're nine points currently off playoffs. So so if you want to maybe try and chase a late playoff place, you've got to start pulling some wins together and start going on a bit of a good run. And this is the thing with Birmingham. 
not taking the mick out of Birmingham City or anything like that, if people think I am. I just think every time when you're in a good position, you play a team where you expect to win, but you don't actually beat them. Yeah. And every time when you play a team where you, the opposition will beat Birmingham, you somehow actually go and beat them, if that makes yeah. sense. So that's a bit what Birmingham City are like. And you don't have great owners. Um, but I've got a question to ask you. What do you think about the January transfer window for Birmingham? It weren't very good. We needed to sign in a pacey striker, a mobile striker, but we didn't. And we only brought in three players. Um, we needed far more squad depth, which wasn't enough, really, what we got in. Yeah, who were the three players he brought in? We brought in Crader online. We brought in Long Jello. Perm He's coming on permanently. And we brought in Kevin Long permanently in defence. Yeah, Kevin Long's very good. He used to play for MK Dons. Uh, was very good championship experience defender. Um, has got a lot of experience, a lot of pedigree. Um, nah, I think I think West Brom are going to win this game. I think they've got too much quality. You've got the likes of Brandon Thomas, Asante, John Swift, quality player. Um, played for Reading. Fortunately, mate, I'm going for 2-1 West Brom. That's fine. And another question I wanted to ask, from a West Brom, from a West Brom's fans point of view, do you think West Brom would be disappointed if they come away from Blues with just a draw. Do you think the draw is not enough for them? Do you think this is going to think we need, we should really be winning at this stage? Do you think they, they look at this game and think we should, we should be winning? I think blue. generally, look, they've won four out of five games, yeah. I believe. So yeah. I think a draw wouldn't be too bad. It means they'll be unbeaten in five out of six. Yeah. Four wins and a draw and lost. I think consider getting fifth where they were at the start of the season, you'd probably be saying like a draw is, is a good result against Birmingham. Yes, on paper, West Brom should beat Birmingham because Birmingham are not very great. You're inconsistent a lot. And you're one of those teams, as I just told you, that you're going to beat someone unexpected. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you end up losing where you expect to win, if that makes sense. So yeah. I think the draw will be a good result for both teams. I really do. But I think this is the type of game you're at home Friday night under the, under the lights in Birmingham. Tough game. Did you beat West Brom in your last meeting? Yeah, 3-2. But yeah. that was when Bruce was the manager, not Co Carlos Coburn. Weren't, this was when Bruce... Yeah, that's a fantastic result to beat, to beat West Brom. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. they were in the Premier League... Two seasons two ago. Two seasons ago. So, yeah, look, you got a chance, but I'm sorry, mate. I'm back in West Brom uh, to win well, this. Well, next question, that's probably you sort of answered with what you said. Do you think a draw for Blues? Blues fans would see that as a victory if they could get a draw from this game. I think it's disappointing. Yeah. I really do because I think it's an opportunity you need to win the game yeah. um, you need to obviously make that comfortable that relegation fight quite safety and do you know what's funny in this West Brom are 5th or 6th in the league Yeah. and you're near the relegation zone but 5th or 6th where you are is 9 points behind you need to start picking on good form and Who's your next game after West Brom? Cardiff. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. How are Cardiff doing this season? They're in the relegation zone, so, so that'll be a six So that would be a tough game. Yeah. And that's a game where Cardiff will probably end up turning up beating you. But yeah. like I just told you, Birmingham will just end up losing to yeah, someone like that. It's pretty, typical. Yeah. You end up beating West Brom and then you go and lose to Cardiff. It's yeah. typical Birmingham would do that. Yeah, well, last season was where we lost to Plymouth at home. And Peterborough, we only drew with at home. The amount of teams, teams we lost and drew with last season. And... Peterborough got relegated, but we we lost we lost them when well, we we lost them at their place and two of them at our place. So yeah. we've lost to some silly teams over the years. <laughs> you know, like Burton, I remember we lost to them at, at our place a few years ago. Yeah. But yeah, so that's today's video. So Lucas going with a two-one baggies win. I'm going with tough game. I'm going with one-one. I'm going to go with Thomas Asante to get the goal for the baggies, and I'm going to go with Scott Hogan to get the goal goal for the Blues. Where can they find your channel? Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Luca AFC. I haven't uploaded uh, for about a week um, due to obviously um, what's been going on my YouTube and all that stuff. So, so I'm not going to say it, but, but obviously Paul knows the reason why. Um, we're trying to get to 2.8k, man. If you guys can really, really support the channel and help me out, it would really be fantastic. We're about 75 subs away from 2.8. So please, please do get follow my YouTube channel, Luca AFC. And if anyone's... Like, I'm always free to collab with people. I'm not one of those people who are in the fame and all that stuff. So, But no, subscribe to my channel, Luca AFC, and uh, I'll leave it to you, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Make sure you're going to subscribe to Luca's channel. And make sure you're going to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on Sunday for the review. 
which hopefully, I can't do it on Friday or Saturday because of my working commitments, but hopefully, oh yeah, I'll see you on Saturday for a review, hoping for a Blues win, but that's it. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. Can I try and get five likes on this video? That would be very much appreciated. Thank you, goodbye. Keep right on, and come on, you Blues.